today I'm going to be doing a what's in my pencil case video. I can't remember when I last did one of these or if I did one of these before. I vaguely remember doing one but I might not have ever posted it. But yeah basically I'm going to show you what is in here. These are my daily go-tos. I do have this on my desk which has all of my pens in but yeah I don't I don't use all of them every day. In here is just the stuff that I go back to over and over. And it's also stuff that if I was to pop out or go on a trip somewhere, this is what I'd grab. This has got like all my essentials in. So the pencil case itself, you might recognize. It came in my January Brimbles box. I absolutely love it. I, as soon as I got it, I moved straight into it. I found no problems with it whatsoever. It's the perfect size. On the zip, I have this little badge, which has a little post-it note on, and it says, let's get organized. Um, and this was actually a little freebie that my friend Ruth put in my order from Kwai Studios. Um, I've also got a little matching post-it note charm from her shop as well on my planner. I'll leave a link to her shop in the description because she does some really really cute charms. I think the main thing I like about this pencil case is how wide it opens. It is actually a pretty slim pencil case like it's a nice handful size um so I'm just gonna pull things out and I will also try my best to let you guys know where everything was from. The first thing I've got in here is this which is correction tape. Um, you might have seen this as well this was from my February Brimbles box I think. So the little lid comes off and then you've got like two little correction tapes in it. Next I have a selection of Coletto pens. I don't usually have this many in here. Um, I don't actually know why there's this many in here. This one's usually in my planner but for some reason it's not. Usually throughout the day this is open on my desk um, so I can just pick things out, use it and bung it back in. And I think what I've done so I've taken these out of my big like main pen pot and instead of putting them back in there I've just bunged them back in here because that's what I tend to do. I'm a bit of a rubbish tidier. <laughs> yeah, there's usually at least two Coletto pens in here. But for some reason today I have five. I then have this pen. This is from Wilkinson's. It is just a cheapo biro multicolored pen. Before I found Coletto's this was the pen that I would use. When it came down to using biros I went for the kind of softer ones not the scratchy ones i think it's only 50p or something i'm not quite sure but i remember them being really really cheap next i have two smashbook pens <laughs> one's a lot older than the other because they have different designs on the end they've obviously changed the packaging i'm not sure which is the most up to date and which isn't so the actual pen part of it is kind of like a fine liner i use these a lot for pen pal letters i don't know why i never use the glue on this ever I think it's rubbish. Okay, so this, this one is actually the new one because it still has the glue stick in there, which means that this one will be the old one because I took the glue stick out because it was just annoying me. Yeah, I started using it. It's It just never really stuck for that long, so I just use Pritt stick nowadays. But I really, really love the pen on it. Next, I have two of these. They are different designs. They are like deco tapes. They're basically like pen so you pop the end out um, and it just has pattern tape kind of like the correction tape how it's kind of all on a reel they're handy for quick decoration especially in a planner so yeah I got two of them they were from Staples I don't know if they do these anymore I know they don't have them on the website um, and they weren't in my local Staples either I then have a couple of rubbers in here or erasers to anyone who isn't from the UK I have one of the little macaron rubbers from my Brimbles box I think this was from the February Brimbles box as well and it came in a set of different colors Colors. so I've been using I've used my least favorite colors first <laughs> because I wanted to save the pretty colors this other little rubber is also from Brimble's box this was from the I think it's from the March Brimble's box I know that colored rubbers sometimes give off color I always like having at least one white rubber with me because I know then there's no chance of color so I tend to use this for kind of rough projects and then I'll use the white rubber for anything that I really really don't want to ruin. I then have some highlighters. I have two sharpie highlighters and then this is just, I don't even know what this is, it's kind of rubbed off. I much prefer the sharpie highlighters over this brand. I think I prefer the packaging, it just looks a lot smarter. I can't remember where I got them from. I have a feeling they're from Asda, I'm not 100% sure. Obviously they are by sharpie so I'm pretty sure you'd be able to find them in other places. In my projects filofax I have a lot of like tick boxes and columns and rows and stuff and when something is complete 
I tend to highlight it so the other things stand out a little better. It's easier at a first glance to see what needs doing and what doesn't. And then have the Coletto that is meant to be in here and this is the one with all different colours on um, that I use for my planning. I usually have this one with colours and then I have one with black refills in it. So my camera battery just died so I'm really sorry if things have shifted here. <laughs> um, I had to take my camera off the tripod and obviously that moves things and uh, it's just annoying but yeah um, so if anything has changed that'll be why <laughs> I also realized something which wasn't in here that is usually in here all the time and that's this it's my ruler it wasn't in there because I have been using it a lot recently it's a 20 centimeter ruler which I prefer to the 15 centimeter rulers it fits in this pencil case perfectly it was from Wilkinson's I think it came in a set I'm not 100% sure it was from one of their collections ages ago so yeah I'm not sure if that will be available anymore the last few things that are in here I have this which is a mechanical pencil it has smurfs on it it was from a swap that I did I think I then have just a beryl fineliner this one's actually really grubby I think it was the one that I used to use at college um, I have quite a few of them they're a little bit larger than the smashbook pens I like using these for lettering so like writing titles or for doing kind of bubble writing and stuff like that and then lastly I have this which you might have seen before I did post a photo on my Instagram about it when I got it it's not a pen it's actually a pair of scissors obviously that's the lid it just kind of pops on like that they're actually pretty good scissors obviously they can't cut like massive things yeah I think it's adorable it's obviously meant to be for a pencil case like travel scissors I got this from Tiger it was three pounds I have still seen them in the shops um, and I think they have a little alligator pair as well so that is the contents of my pencil case like I said this is the things that I grab for on a daily basis it just sits next to my main pencil pot but obviously if I need to go somewhere it's there it's got everything in I can just grab it and go I hope you enjoyed having a little nosy in my pencil case remember to check the description for any links to the things that I've mentioned in this video and if you have any questions then let me know as always thank you guys so much for watching and I will speak to you in my next video